السلام علیکم ورحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ جماعت احمدیہ بلیز برنگس ٹو یو انادر ایکسائٹنگ ایپیسوڈ اف پوائنٹس ٹو پونڈر دس ویک دا ہیڈ آف دا ورلڈ وائڈ احمدیہ کمیونٹی مے اللہ سٹرینگتھن ہز ہینڈز اسٹارٹڈ آف بائی اسپیکنگ اباؤٹ دا ہولی پروفٹ مے دا پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز اف اللہ بی اپان ہیم اینڈ ہاؤ گاڈ سیوڈ ہیم لیٹس سٹارٹ اور شو دا ہولی پروفٹ مے دا پیس اینڈ بلیسنگز اف اللہ بی اپان ہیم وینٹ ٹو دا بنو نذیر ٹرائب ان مدینہ along with some companions. When he arrived, the people of Banu Nazir offered him to take a seat and eat before they spoke about any further matter. Thus, the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, took a seat against a wall. The Jewish people of Banu Nazir saw this as an opportunity, and one person climbed upon the wall with a rock to drop upon the Holy Prophet. However, God informed the Holy Prophet about this plot, upon which he immediately got up and left. Let us now take a look at how God himself proved the innocence of Hazrat Aisha. May Allah be pleased with her. When the Muslims were returning to Medina after a battle one night, the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, instructed them to continue forth on the journey from where they had stopped to rest. Just before this, Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, realized that she had lost her necklace and thus went looking for it. When she returned, the Muslims had already left. They had placed her carriage upon the camel without realizing that she was not sitting in it. While waiting for the Muslims to realize and return, she fell asleep. And the next morning, Hazrat Safwan, may Allah be pleased with him, who had been traveling behind the army, found her. She rode on his camel while he led it, until they rejoined the Muslim army. From this incident, a great calumny came about, which was initiated by the chief of the hypocrites, Abdullah bin Ubay bin Sulul. When Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, learned about this, she sought permission from the Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, to visit her parents. During this time, Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, was in a state of sleepless distress for two nights and a day. Her parents sat with her and attempted to console her. The Holy Prophet, may the peace and blessings of Allah be upon him, visited her and said that if she was innocent, God would surely speak in her favor. Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, expressed that at the time she had no choice but to remain patient, as she knew she was innocent. God then revealed, Verily, those who brought forth the lie are a party from among you. Upon this, Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, father of Hazrat Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, vowed that he would never again provide financial support to Mista, who had been one of the people to spread this false rumor. Then God revealed to the Holy Prophet, And let not those who possess wealth and plenty among you swear not to give aught to the kindred and to the needy and to those who have left their homes in the cause of Allah. Let them forgive and pass over the offense. Do you not desire that Allah should forgive you? And Allah is most forgiving, merciful. His Holiness, may Allah strengthen his hand, said that upon this, Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, said, Surely he wished to be forgiven by God, and thus began supporting Mista again. May Allah enable us all to derive full benefit from the weekly Friday sermon of His Holiness. May Allah strengthen His hand. Till next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Inni ma ka ya masru Inni ma ka ya masru